Today I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to install a dominator winch on the front of your four wheel drive. As you can see, I'm on my driveway here, all I really need is some basic hand tools and the job should take me no more than about two hours from start to finish. Now, this is my old winch, as you can see, it's not a brand new, I've been using and abusing this one for about 12 months now, maybe even more. So I've taken it off to do a bit of routine service, I've washed the rope, in fact, you can see a really good video by Khan on the Full Wheel Drive Supercenter website on how to service a Dominator winch. Now, the winch is out, now let's put it back in. When it comes to installing your Dominator winch, you can really break it down into two parts. Number one is the wiring, and number two is fitting the winch to the vehicle. As you can see, the wires are color coded, so it really is dead easy. From the solenoid box, you've got three wires here which are color coded to the top of the Dominator winch, and you've got two earth cables. You want to put those down through the bull bar, and so when you do mount the winch, it's just as easy as, as tightening up a couple of nuts. Now, you're going to have two wires from the solenoid box, a positive and a negative, going to your battery. Now, from your control box, you only have a positive and a negative wire to hook up. So obviously, your negative on your negative, your positive and your positive. I've got the positive almost there, but not quite connected. I'm going to connect it to the battery right at the end. That'll be the last thing I do. Now, as you can see, I'm running it off my start battery. It doesn't matter if you've got two, three, or even four batteries in your engine bay, I'm gonna always suggest that you run it off your crank battery because they draw so many amps, and that's the right way to go about it. Now, let's install the winch and get those wires run to the back of the winch. When it comes to mounting your control box, I always like to opt for a place that's nice and central so the wiring can reach the back of the winch really easy. I've got the cabling, there's a spot in my bull bar, I'm gonna put those cables straight down so they're ready for the winch. Um, a lot of people do put them in behind the grill, but in my case, it's just gonna be feeding these through the hole in the bull bar. Keep them nice and straight. And the last thing I'll do is after I've mounted it to the winch, I will cable tie them nice and neat and out of the way so they're nice and protected. So I'm just pushing those cables through, they're all through. I've got that negative run. He goes along the chassis rail and up straight to the battery. So I just want to push him out of the way for the moment. When it comes to mounting your winch, you'll find there's four main bolts that essentially hold your winch in a place and give it all the support that it needs. Now on most bull bars, you'll find that the four main bolts will bolt into a plate on the front of your bull bar. But this one here is a Toyota Genuine winch bar. It's a little bit different to most and the plate is actually at the bottom of the four wheel drive bar here. So the winch gets bolted through the plate straight up. Oh, this is the hardest bit. There we go. And that's pretty much installed. Now, of course, now I've just got to run the wiring, put that winch cable back on, and I'm good to go. There you go, that positive terminal's all hooked up, the winch rope's fed in, and I am pretty much done. Probably took about an hour and a half, and now it's ready for a heck of a lot more punishment. That's enough from me, I'll see you out in the tracks.